Hi, are you back? Oh yeah, you're back. Here. Oh, we record. All right. It's just me, Lola. Yeah. Rebecca, you're like in this really pretty silhouette. So we're gonna take the block under our bum and legs up. Draw your shoulder blades under you just a little bit and just get a sense of being steady on the block. You can move your legs around and orient and just check the balance points. And then lift the legs up to the sky. Tuck your bottom ribs down towards your pubic bone. They're definitely gonna wanna flare it open. And instead, tuck them down and tuck your tailbone under. So your tailbone is slightly tucked and your ribs are kind of like you're in a crunch. And then keeping that and remembering that in just a second, you're gonna to wanna to flare, you are gonna be tempted to flare them. Start to lower your left leg. Have it hover in line, par like parallel out from the block. And tuck, tuck, tuck your tailbone and squeeze your ribs down. Try to relax your arms and lower and lift that left leg. And as opposed, in a, as opposed to doing it with just the leg, try to think of doing it through connecting your leg through the psoas into the abdominals. You can point the left foot and slow down. And keep tucking the tailbone under. and the ribs close. So it's much more of abdominal work when you do it like that. So when I do it casually, I could just talk normally, but when I really concentrate, it's quite an effort. And then leave the leg out, extended out, tuck the devil and close the ribs, almost like a little crunch, and just hold there. And little pulses down toward the floor with that leg. Morning Anastasia, 10, nine, eight, seven and squeeze the quadriceps in both legs, <coughs> eight. I'm counting in the wrong direction, four, three, two, one. And then squeeze your abs, tuck tailbone and lift the leg back up. That last one you probably felt a little bit. Draw the knee in, same leg, left knee in toward you and place the right foot on the ground. So bend the right knee, Bend the right knee and place the right foot down. And then hold the leg in your left hand and take the leg out to the left. You can reach underneath, that feels better for me right now. And with the block here, I have more consciousness on the right side of my sacrum. So pushing down through the right foot and rolling that right side, my back, onto the block more. Scooch your hips over to the left. You won't have much room, but just over to the left side of the block, all the way over, and take a twist in this elevated place. Bring that knee across, stretch the left arm open. And on the seizure, we're on a block, if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. Roll that outside of the left hip away from you, and turn your head to the left. You're gonna roll forward off the block and just slide it out from under you. We're gonna use it again in a moment. Just place it there to the side. You're on the outside of your, you're on your right side, kind of slinky and sexy. Take your right arm up by your head and lay your head down on the arm. Shimmy your rib cage like more toward your right hand so it flattens 
And you can either stay like this on your arm or bend the elbow and prop your head up. I have a lot of tension on my side body, so this is a little hard for me to get my armpit close to the floor, but that's what I want to do. So now I'm trying to slide my elbow toward the head end of my mat so that I'm really flat. And then I'm going to slide my left leg out straight, so I have two straight legs, and I'm on the balance board of my right side body. But I don't want to be as comfortable. I don't want to be like laying on a rib or sticking my bed in. So same thing we did on the block, tuck your bottom ribs in, tuck your tailbone under, and get a lot more wobbly. And pick up your left arm so that you're off balance. And what happens is, hopefully, the abs are what stabilizes us. We turn into our own balance board. So try to teeter, rock a little bit to and fro, like kind of forward and backward until you find the most tippy toppy balance point that is really tricky and hard to balance here. And then turn your left thigh up toward the sky, bend the knee and bring the foot as though into a tree, but just have it hover and then put it into tree. You can reach down for the foot and slide it up your thigh and foot too. And then press your left knee up toward the ceiling with that forearm. Tailbone under, ribs closed. And then move your hand so it's not helping you balance. And try to find this. You can put your hand behind your leg, this sort of teeter-tottery. If you're too comfortable, tuck something under, like your ribs or your tailbone or extend the arm because you're probably balancing on it and use the abs to hold you steady. Sweep your left arm over your ear. Reach both arms. Oh. <laughs> and hold it and try to pick up your bottom leg off the ground a little bit. Try to lift it up. And maybe pick up your body, your right arm as well. So you're trying to <laughs> lift both ends up. I'm falling all over the place. Try to lift up the leg and the arms. And then roll onto the safety of your back. Pull that left knee to your chest and circle the knee around. Bend the right knee again, place the right foot flat. Reach up for your left big toe with your peace fingers and stretch that left leg up to the sky. Bend that left knee to the outside of your left ribs and then straighten the leg. And do this a few times, just finding that spidery bend and lift. Hold the outer edge of the foot, half happy baby. Pull it down, press through your right foot and roll, keep that right side of the sacrum pressing into the floor. Stretch the leg at that 45 degree angle out to the left. Bring it to the middle and release the foot down. Take your block, slide it underneath your sacrum buttocks again, and just get that feeling underneath you. Take a deep, long breath. Open the mouth. Ah, if you're in a place where you can let out a little sound, go ahead and let it out. Breathe in deeply. Let out sound. Ah. At the bottom of that exhale, firm the belly and draw the knees up toward the chest. Stack them over your hips and extend your right leg up to the sky, uh, both legs up to the sky. Tuck your bottom ribs in. They're definitely going to be tempted to flare. And your tailbone slightly under. So you can feel that grip in the abdominals. Um, take your legs slightly away from you. So they're more stacked over the hips and less toward your face. Zip up through the center like the legs had a zipper together. Uh -huh. And that, again, I flared open when I did that. So I'm, I'm conscious of that. And then I'm gonna lower the right leg to hover just in line with the block, keeping my abdominals engaged. And lower and lift that free leg 
that right egg, but do it with a lot of awareness that it's being moved through the abdominals or with the abdominals, as opposed to just swinging it up and down. So in my case, I have to go a lot slower. The ribs stay in, the tailbone stays under. Five, four, three, two. And then I'm gonna leave it down there, just hovering, and find that alignment, tucking the tailbone, closing the front ribs, and trying to draw both legs into the hip sockets more. So I'm like shortening the leg by squeezing them in. And then draw the leg back up, bend the knee, place the left foot on the ground, and hug the right knee into your chest. Circle the right knee around a little bit. And open the knee up to the right. Give it a little bit of um, push down through your left foot as you roll your left sacrum down to the floor. Block, I mean. Bring the knee into the middle. Slide your hips over to the edge of the right side of the block and twist the knee over, cross. Reach the right arm out to the side, turn your head to the right. Roll the outside of your right hip down away from you, narrowing the waist. That left knee can be bent. And that right shoulder is pinned down. There's like a windswept feeling to this shape. Breathe in deeply. <sighs> Exhaling out. Now keep sliding in toward, like, um, toward the left and pull the block out from underneath you. And you're gonna lie on your left leg, lie, lie on your left side. And you wanna be as, you wanna lay your left, stretch your left arm out and be on the side body so that it's hard to do. You want to feel like you could fall forward or backward. You can stay there with the arm outstretched or bend the elbow and prop the head up. But what you don't want is to be like a mermaid. Like you don't want to be comfy here. You want to tuck your ribs in. You want to get as flat on that left armpit as possible. And you want to tuck your tailbone under because even the little bit of a back arch can like keep you from doing this well. Um, stitch your legs together again. So still zip them up through the center. And let's try and see if you can just pick up both legs and lower. Pick up both legs and lower as one zipped up thing. Keep that tailbone under. Yeah. And don't use your hand to balance. So that right hand is somewhere where it's not helping you balance. You want to be, feel like you could fall. And the abdominals are what are what are working. And then press your left foot down, turn your right inner thigh toward the sky, bend that knee and place that right foot into tree. You can use your hand to move it higher up and press your right arm against the leg to push the leg back and tuck the tailbone farther under, close the ribs. And then bring the hand behind the leg. Don't use it to balance. If anything, use it to destabilize you if you can. I don't know, I'm too balanced on this side. I don't want to be. There must be like something sticking out. Some piece of my butt or my ribs. My arm, something. And then, just, yeah. And then pick up your bottom leg and sweep your top arm over the ear and maybe pick up your bottom arm. So both arms try to lift and that left leg tries to lift. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your ribs and try to squeeze your center. It feels kind of great. And then roll onto your back, hug your right knee in, bend your left knee and circle the right. Mm. 
reach for your right big toe with your first peace fingers, your first two fingers, bend the knee to the outer side, outer rib cage, and just do that little tailbone tuck and rib closure, and then straighten and bend the right leg like a spider. Spread the skin out on your left foot, the one on the ground. That foot might be getting a little bit tight with the sole of the foot. Let that skin kind of swim on your mat. And then hold the outer edge of your right foot, bend your right knee and pull that leg into half happy baby. And then steer your pelvis, that left side of the pelvis into the floor with your left foot. Pick your left foot up and take happy baby. Rocking a little bit side to side, opening up the hips. Whew. Forearms are in the insides of the shins. You're just pushing out with your arms and squeezing in with your legs. Heavying the tailbone. And then slide your hands behind your head and start to lift your head and shoulders up and your bum up for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach your hands up toward the ceiling. Draw your knees right up into your armpits. Flex your palms and lift up toward the ceiling. Try to push the ceiling off you. Push it up and little pulses with your hands, lifting the ceiling away. 10, nine, and keep your knees right at your upper arms and your belly squeezing toward your back. Five, four, three, two, and press up, hold up, belly down. Grab your feet, pull your knees down toward the floor farther. And then cross one ankle over the other. Slide your hands out from under there and start to rock to and fro. And all the way up and over. Come into a quadruped position on your hands and knees and start to cat cow your spine at your own pace. Finding some freedom in your spine. It was just held really tightly there, hopefully. And now just let it move. And start to circle your rib cage around Steady the spine and circle the ribs, isolating them. And go one way and then the other. And try to make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears so you're not cutting off your neck. Then take your knees apart and circle your hips around. Huge big hip circles, letting go all the way back towards child's pose all the way forward toward a cobra. If your back is cool with it, really going big with these. And switch up the direction. If it's okay, maybe you close the eyes and go into the sensation. Allow yourself to be intuitive here. The head is gonna start to move as well. And that's great. Let it circle. And eventually slide the hips all the way to the heels with the knees wide and the toes together. Taking a wide knee child's pose, separate the knees even farther apart and let your trunk rest on the ground. Observe your breathing. And then set your chin toward the, like on the mat, so stick out your chin. Look forward and slither your chest down to the floor and stretch out. Bring your hands in line with your chest. Tuck your toes under and squeeze your elbows toward one another, toward the center of your back. 
Lift your shoulders away from the ground and firm your quadriceps. Spread the palms and then lift off the ground and just hover in a chaturanga for three. Belly in tight, tuck your tailbone, tuck your ribs in. Two, one, straighten the arms and lengthen your neck. Drag your wrists toward your feet and your feet toward your wrists. And find your breath, shoulder blades down, and then widen them apart. Push into the ground and widen your shoulder blades. Keep firming your quadriceps. And then let's lower slowly, five, four, three, to the ground, two, and one. Slide your elbows down to the floor, to the ground, and you bring them under your shoulders. Interlace your fingers, stretch your, point your toes and stretch your toes back and drag the elbows toward you to lift into a bit of a sphinx. Actually it is sphinx. Pull the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades toward each other and down. Look to the right. Tip your right ear toward your right shoulder. Nice, nice you guys. Look up, chin up, look to the left, stick your chin to the left, and then left ear toward left shoulder. If it hurts your back, squeeze your butt a little bit. Look center, look way up. And let the eyes lead as you look down. Tuck your toes, tuck your ribs in, tuck your tailbone back, and pick up your hips. Staying here in this comfy forearm plank. Make your wrists heavy. Squeeze the heels in toward each other and pull the belly up. Neck is nice and long on all sides. Squeeze your butt. Feet dragging toward elbows, elbows toward feet. Letting the heat grow. And then walk your feet up toward your elbows. Bend your knees, press your chest back toward your thighs. And then softly lower the knees to the ground. Unclasp your fingers, place your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, look up. Exhale, stretching to a bent leg down dog, chest back to the knees. And then from here, just step your right foot forward, left foot forward at the front of the mat. Knees are soft, legs become a bolster for the torso, hold opposite elbows. Shake your head loose. <laughs> Not too loose. Take a deep breath and let the hands go. <sighs> Pull the belly to the spine and roll up to standing. Keep the knees soft, lift the shoulders, hold them back and down. Straighten your legs, beautiful you guys. Spin your palms forward. Inhale, breathe up, arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, stick your butt out, folding over. Inhale, lifting up. Um, so just halfway up, sits bones back and apart. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back, come into plank. Spin your heels to the right. So the feet are separate and they're just spinning to the right. And we're coming into a modified side plank. Left arm lifts up. Now tuck your tailbone, close the front ribs like we did on our back. Take your right foot and come into fallen triangle. So you're stepping it out to the left and reach up through that left arm. Push down through both feet and sweep your left arm over your ear. Bow your ribs up toward the sky and your left hip up higher and extend your left arm slightly down toward the floor and the head slightly down toward the floor. So right ear toward right shoulder. Keep tucking tailbone and closing ribs to feel the abdominals. Bring the left hand down to the ground and look down at the ground, but lengthen your neck. Slide down onto your right hip. 
<laughs> you guys are like, really? Okay, take your left arm, left forearm down to the floor. Come on to your right fingertips and twist to the right. Left ribs toward right ribs. Shoulder blades toward each other and down. Heart slightly sphinxing up. Turn it. Dolls. Slowly, carefully, prop yourself up onto straight arms. Walk your hands back to the center. This is just a bit tricky, not really, but you're gonna tuck your left toes under, just listen, and you're gonna slide your right foot to your left wrist. So I'm in a pyramid, it's just that my right foot is more on the left side of my mat. My left foot is gonna to try to extend down. So my left heel is straight behind my toes and it's reaching toward the floor to help me balance. Inhale, lift the chest, so you're like a straight back. Exhale, you can fold. And you might have some sensation, I'm not sure. Squeeze your sit bones toward each other. Kind of like you're trying not to pee too. The inner thighs are, are crossing. Inhale, lift. And stretch your right arm up. Keep scissoring the legs as you twist here. Left ribs toward right. Shoulder blades down the back. Um, Anastasia, left hand down, right arm up. So I'm like a twisted triangle versus triangle. Maybe you were doing that. Yeah, that one. And then sweep the right arm over the ear, which is weird and hard. Okay. And then right hand comes down. The right foot, which is in front, is going to cross in front of my left leg. So my legs are crossed, my feet are parallel, and I walk my hands back to my feet. I bend my knees. So I have my right leg crossed in front of my left, and I bent my knees, so my left knee is pushing into my right knee. I now am wearing a high heel on my right foot. Okay, and I'm gonna roll halfway up like a weird scarecrow. I'm going to hold my right ankle and I'm going to lift that foot into a figure four and then put my hands back down. I want to hug my left shin in toward the midline, flex my right ankle and be in this deep figure four feeling stuff. From here, belly engages, tailbone slightly tucks. I roll up. I grab my right ankle foot and I put it into tree. With my right forearm, I press the knee back, tuck tailbone under, close the baby ribs, and reach the arms out and up. Getting tall. Lifting up here out of the limb, out of the legs, out of the hips, out of the waist. Really long and pressing down deeply into the earth. Nice, you guys, beautiful. Turn your right knee forward and place the right foot down. Separate your feet a little bit. Take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, right thumb on top. Bend the knees, squeeze shoulder blades together. Squeeze elbows together toward each other and then throttle Straighten the arms, push down into the legs, and lift the heart. If it's okay with your shoulders, move your hands away from your body. So move that fist back. Bend the knees, fold forward, wrapping the arms overhead. Shake out the neck. Squeeze the shoulder blades, deep in the stretch. So much sitting over our, our computers and rounding forward. This is the, a really nice antidote for that. I think craving this one. And then release your hands, walk them out into down dog. And 
Maybe you don't change your legs. Maybe you keep them wide, a wide base. They maybe just slide back a little bit. And then lower your knees. Lower your chest and chin. Shimmy down onto your belly. Tuck your toes, slide your hands so the thumbs in line with nipples. Tuck toes under, squeeze elbows together, and then lift up to chaturanga, hold. Three, tailbone backwards in, two, one. Straighten the arms, lift up, hold, five. Toes toward wrists, wrists toward toes, four. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, three. Long neck, two, and one, lower the knees down. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And bring your elbows down. Interlace the fingers. Left fingers on top. And then slide your legs back. Point your toes. Inhale, sphinx. Drag your elbows toward your ribs. Isometrically, tailbone toward the heels. Look to the left. Drop left ear toward left shoulder. Look up, look to the right, right ear toward right shoulder. Look up, look way up, look back. If you could see your feet, squeeze the shoulder blades and bring your head down. Tuck your toes from your belly, lift your hips up, forearm plank. Drag here, wrists back toward toes, toes toward wrists. Cement, pin your forearms down. Really invest in that pressure. Breathe. Find all the contractions. Ribs are in, tailbone is long. Squeeze the thighs. And then walk the feet in. Lift the bum. Push the chest back toward the legs. Separate the hands, right hand down, left hand down, downward dog. Step your left foot to your left wrist, right foot to your right wrist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, circle up, reach tall. And you might find this is accelerated. Arms go up, tailbone down, reach it. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step your right foot back. Left foot back plank. Spin your heels to the left, push down into the ground, and then reach your right arm up. Tuck your tailbone toward your feet. Slide your bottom ribs toward your pubic bone and sweep your right arm over your ear. Bow your hips up and step your left foot into fallen triangle. So you step it to three o'clock. Send your hips high and bow your ribs higher, ribs higher. So the right ribs flare up. Right hand reaches slightly down and head arcs slightly down. Extend through the legs. Feel the whole right side, that lateral stretch. Maybe the right arm can go behind your head more. Yas. Then bring the right hand down, but stay in the shape and look down, shoulder blades down, lengthen your neck. So chest is kind of forward. And then slide onto your left hip. Take your right forearm, take the right hand toward the left and come onto that right forearm. Come onto the left fingertips and twist right ribs to the left. If it's too much, maybe your left forearm is down. Or maybe you're not that low. So the right arm is under you. And you're twisting right toward the left. Tailbone is lengthening back. Straighten the arms, you're kind of to the left. Turn here, a little more twist, and then walk your hands in. So it's that weird transition. This left foot is in 
is off to the right. We're gonna take that to the right hand. So we're gonna slide that left hand to the right wrist. So you didn't change legs or anything. That left leg is still forward. Your right heel is straight back. So you're in a pyramid. And your right hand is on the inside of your left foot. Lift your chest and stick your butt out. Maybe bend the knees, stick the tushy back, sits bones back, heart forward. Maybe, it's harder for me on this side, the left arm lifts. So you're in sort of a peculiar twisting triangle. This is much harder for me on this side. This side I have to cheat my back foot down. I don't have to. I can just stay off balance. And sweep that left arm over the ear. And then that left hand comes down. My left foot is going to step to the back of the mat in front of my right foot. And I'm going to walk my hands back there to where my feet are. My right knee is behind my left knee. And now I have a stiletto on as I push my knee, knees into each other. I pick up my left heel. And then I hang over the legs like a broken scarecrow. And I start to roll up, contracting belly. And as I go, I bring my left ankle up onto my right thigh and put my hands back down, figure four. So we're now we're getting deeper into that left hip. Can you pick the left knee up just a little bit, deep in the crease in your hips, and send your glutes back more, back and down. At the same time, traction your heart forward. Pick your hands up, continue the roll up, and as you roll up, place your left foot into tree, somewhere along that right leg. Squeeze leg into, foot into leg and vice versa. And stand. Squeeze them into one another, tuck tailbone, close ribs, send left knee back. Circle the arms up or reach them up. And get long here, reaching. Tailbone toward the heel, reach up. Maybe look up as you sprout, growing upward. Turn your left knee forward, let it float in front of you. Place the foot down. Interlace the hands behind you, left thumb on top, feet wide. Bend the knees. Use this to lift you up into a back bend. Hands may be going away from the buttocks. Beautiful, you guys, fold forward. Resting on your thighs, rinsing out your shoulders. Head dropping down. Letting the tension that you're holding in your body out. Breathing into your back. And release your hands hanging. Walk them out into downward facing dog. And stretch out your dog now. Pushing down through the heels, pressing down through the hands. Lifting the buttocks up, sending the hips higher and higher. Bend the knees, look to your hands, and jump your feet up to where your hands are. Inhale, sits bones back, heart forward. Exhale, float down, fold. And you may find that your chest is much closer to your thighs. Head much closer to the floor. Inhale, rise up, circle the arms, lift tall. And draw your hands to your heart, pausing here. Grounding through both feet, firming the quadriceps, lengthening lower back, using that connection to the earth to raise the head higher. Move the eyes back into the skull. Let the eyes rest. As you blink them open and release the hands down and turn the palms forward, let the imagery come to you. So whatever is around you, whatever is in your environment, let those images 
come to you rather than your eyes looking out toward them. Plugging into the ground, reach the arms up, turning the face up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step your left foot, right foot back. Spin your heels to the right, take your left arm up. Step your right foot through into fallen triangle. Sweep your left arm over your ear. Pick up your right foot. Bend the knee and maybe reach for the outer edge of your right foot with your left hand. Straighten your right leg and aim it to the front corner of the mat where we were before. So it's at the front left corner. Yeah? Step your back foot up just a little bit. Hands are to the right of your leg. Reach your right arm up, twisting triangle, but in this weird place. Hi. Sweep that right arm over the ear and circle the right hand down. Same but different. Bend both knees, bring the hips down to the ground. Point or flex, but don't do, don't just sickle. Point on purpose or on purpose flex your front foot and bring it a little closer to your body. Stretch your left leg back, lift your chest. Bend your left knee, reach your right hand back for the foot. Kick your foot back. Kick it back and lift your chest. So you're kicking the foot back, but at the same time, you're scissoring the legs to give you some balance and strength and support. Maybe that left arm comes forward and you're balancing there. Keep kicking that back foot. Maybe that arm reaches up to the sky. More and more. Bring the left hand down, release the leg, and fold over the leg. But walk yourself over to the right. And so it's more of a twist. Walk your hands to the center, tuck your left toes under. You're gonna extend to a three limb dog. So that right leg is gonna shoot up. Lift it nice and high. Pulse it, five, four, point the toes, three. Tuck your ribs in, two, one. Now squeeze your butt as you bring your right heel to it. So like try to squeeze your butt, the back leg, and then lift the knee higher. Open the hip up, and if you want to, flip the dog over. So step behind yourself, bend your left elbow, pull the shoulder blade toward the spine, and then sweep the right arm back. Open the chest up toward the sky. Reach. Beautiful, you guys. Right arm up, retrace your steps, right leg goes back up. And then you're gonna walk your hands halfway back. Um, cross your right ankle in front of your left. And so your right leg is on over, crossed in front of your left. And then drop your head, walk your hands the rest of the way in. Broken scarecrow. Crop up onto your right toes when you bend the knees and start to roll up. Cross your right ankle over your left, squat low. This time, hands go back down, but concentrate on your toes being outside, so your right toes um, gripping the outside of your left arm. Pull your belly in, raise your right hip up a little bit, deep in the hip crease. Squeeze your left butt in. Pull the belly to the spine, Woo. roll up, hold your right foot, place it into tree or classic tree, the old days, Ardha Padmasana. So the right foot goes up toward the left hip and then the right knee goes down toward the ground. The temptation is to stick the butt out. Instead, tailbone under, ribs close. And you could hold 
your right hand to the right shin as well. Or you could bind behind you and hold the left elbow or hold the right big toe. Some people like to fold forward here. I'm just gonna stay up and work my hips, try to get them even and the knees toward each other. If this hurts anything in the knee, do not do it. <laughs> Lift your right knee back up. Maybe slide the left hand to the outer edge of that foot and straighten that right leg for a twist. Right arm reaches back. Yep, that's right, Heather. And turn left ribs toward right. Beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Bend the knee, place the foot down. Feet go hip width distance. Interlace the fingers, right thumb on top. Inhale, lift up and open. Exhale, fold. Widen the sits bones, hug the shins in. And then release the hands, walk them forward to down dog, stretch it back. Stay here or option to vinyasa through. Taking a ride to plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, feet hop forward. Inhale, lift your heart, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, we'll just go right from here. Step left foot back, right foot back, plank. Spin your heels to the right, sweep the left arm up. As it arcs over, reach the right leg into fallen triangle. Lift your hips high. Le Did we do this side? Oops, is that the wrong side? Sorry, my bad. Come back to plank, my bad. Spin your heels left. Kick your left foot through. That looks better. Right arm up and over. Oh, hips high, ribs up, head arcing down. Now, bend your left knee. Pick your left knee up toward your chest. Reach for your foot with your right hand. Kick that leg back out. Steer it to the right corner of your mat. Step it forward. Come into that pyramid. Hands to the left of your foot. Left arm goes up. This side is so much harder for me. Left arm up. And Left arm reaches over the ear, left hand comes down. Both knees drop to the ground, stretch your right leg back, coming into half pigeon. Make a choice, either point or flex your left foot. Bend the back knee, reach back with your left hand. Flex the foot and kick it back. Scissor the legs to turn on the pelvic floor. Ooh. Mine did not turn on, so I fell over. But hopefully yours did. And reach the right arm up. Way up. Keep kicking back and scissoring at the same time. So many things. And then release. Fold over your legs to the left. Leg, really. To the left, gentle twist. Gently encouraging right ribs toward left. And observing your breath. Going into the internal experience. Walk your hands through center. Place the hands on the mat, tuck your right toes, and we're gonna take us to three legs. Left leg goes up. Pulse, 10, square your hips, nine. Pull your ribs in and squeeze stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Now really squeeze, contract those hamstrings if you're making a fist, like a, our bicep curl, sorry. Squeeze your heel to your butt, then lift your knee higher. Open it up and flip it over. Plant your feet on the earth, lift your hips high, and bow, upward facing bow. That left arm reaches back. You might hold your head and pull your head here. Do that, it's different. 
reach the arm up, retrace your steps, left leg goes up. It's gonna cross in front of the right ankle and you're gonna walk your hands back. Bend both knees, put on your high heel on your left foot and drop your head. As you roll up, come into that standing figure four, but fold it over your legs. Wrap your toes, your left toes, around your right arm, so the outside of the arm. Then lift your left knee slightly and sink back into sensation. Pull your head forward, your head out of your butt. Yeah. Literally, metaphorically, yes. And then pull the belly in and roll up. And your left foot could go to tree or Ardha Padmasana tree. You could hold the left shin. You could take the left arm behind you and bind, bind the arm or bind the toe. Sometimes I just like the hand and at my heart. In Namaskar. You could fold forward. I'm gonna work on balancing my hips and opening that left groin muscle, left inner thigh. Lift the knee carefully. I'm sliding my right hand to the outer edge of my left foot and I'm kicking that foot into the hands to straighten the leg and twisting to the left. Right ribs toward left. Bend the knee, turn forward, and release the foot. Take your feet wide apart. <laughs> Sally just bounced into picture. And then interlace the fingers. Opposite hand, uh, fingers on top, bend the knees. Inhale, nice, you guys lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, rest your body on your legs. Pick up your left heel and twist to the right. Take your arms, your fist arms, over to the left a little bit. Left ribs toward right. Center. Pick up your right heel. Turn right ribs toward left. Steer your arms to the right. I like to bend the elbows to get higher into the muscles of the back. And center. Release the hands, and let's try this together. You can have your blocks in front of you, or not. We're gonna cross the right ankle in front of the left ankle, and put on that right stiletto. Bend the knees and hang. Pull the belly in and start to come up. Come into that figure four. Place both hands on the ground, and I'll just turn toward you. You're gonna take your, I'll move on a little bit, your toes to the outer left arm. Take your hands forward and lift your left heel like into that stiletto again. Really glue the toes around that arm and pick up your left foot. Maybe stretch that left leg out. Remembering that ab work in the beginning of tailbone long ribs in, see if you can kick that left leg behind you and still float. Becca, you can do it. You just have to trust. Karen, are you up in the air? That's awesome! And Sally, everyone's up. Nice work. Beautiful, you guys. Beautiful, honestly. <laughs> Beautiful. Now come down onto your butt. That right knee will be in front of you. So you're like in a Matsya Andrasana. So that right foot's in front. Yeah, and you're just going to wrap your left elbow to the outside of the leg, or I like to hook, hook it on the knee. Right hand goes behind you. Lift. Let both legs press down. And gently twist. Don't force this. To the right. Imagine that those two snakes um, going up through the spine and awakening at the crown. Uda and Pindala, Pindala. Uh, and they're just winding around each other. The symbol of healing. Turn to your left, lean to your left, and like you're just in the just saddest Greek tragedy, just bring your head down like you're weeping. 
and it's just so weepy. Your right hand goes to your right knee and you just press it away. You just can't, just press it away from you. And then pull your belly in, come on back up. We're gonna turn to the left. So we're gonna keep turning to the left. And we're gonna do a full 360 all the way around and stand. So our left foot is in front of our right, our left ankle in front of our right. So our ankles are crossed and we're gonna pick, bend the knees and pick up that left heel and fold. We're gonna roll up and on the way up, we're crossing our left ankle into that figure four. Hands come back down. Um, pin or I can't think like bind your toes around your right triceps. So really hook them there. Walk your hands forward, come up onto the right toes, meaning hands go flat or onto the blocks. And then pick up your right foot and extend the leg back and try that abdominal contraction of ribs in, tailbone back. So straighten that back leg. It's the same thing that we did on our abs, just not at all the same. So ribs are in, tailbone is back toward the straight leg. And fly, Ekapada Galavasana. Such a pretty name. Becca, straighten that top leg. You got this. You don't need it. It's just your head thinking you do. I'm going to just show you from the side. So I divorce my mind and my leg. So I hook the toes, I lean forward, and then I feel like I need this leg, but I don't. And I just kick it back. And I send my tailbone back there, and I tuck my ribs in. I, I realize that that leg is just decorative, and I send it back. Yes! At the same time, you need the counter force of going forward. When you're ready, sit on your bum. Left ankle, cross to the outer right thigh. Hook your elbow, bring it past, it's up to you. Lengthen up nice and tall. Squeeze shoulder blades. As we turn right ribs toward left, a little part of us is turning the hips the opposite way. Slowly unwind and Greek tragedy over to the right, head drops. Press that left knee away, maybe. Beautiful, you guys. Good tragics. Lifting up. And we're just going to turn 180 and come into a squat. Take the hands behind you and safely lower your bum. And I'm just going to turn to face you. Legs are wide. You're going to windshield, wipe the knees in and out. I'm going to give you some options. Option one, the simpler option, is to have the knees bent and come into a really relaxed Paschimottanasana. So that's one way to go. Option two would be maybe to grab a pillow and but and but um, have the feet on the blocks or a pillow over the box and come into a varasana. If this is a actually let me show you better. So maybe if you had a pillow or something, um, you would put your feet on the lifted part, have the blocks behind you for Supta Varasana. So Varasana is really tight for me. I think some of you don't need any props at all, but it's interesting to have the feet elevated and the knees lower than the feet. And then going back onto the blocks or you might have a lower setup or no setup because you don't need them. But do try it with the feet elevated or do the forward bend option, which is simpler, perhaps. Here, we're looking at some of the same features, some of the same parameters, 
tailbone is actually tucking under and the ribs are softening down. Even though I'm in this pretty supported back bend, I want to keep the ribs closed and the abdominals burning. And I'm pushing down my feet to send my head farther back and get more leverage out of it. But please do what's best for you here. Whichever posture you're taking, once you're comfy, focus on the breath and allowing or imagining the body like liquid, even the bones, all the tissues of the body, liquid. These brilliant crystalline structures Operating on so many levels, spiritually, chemically, elementally. I mean, if you were an alien, wouldn't you want to take one of these bodies? I mean, maybe a cockroach or like, maybe both, right? I mean, these things are amazing, these machines that we live in. That was weird. Something just touched my knee, but nothing is here. <laughs> Speaking of aliens. <laughs> Okay, if you're in the back bend to come out safely, it's a bit tricky, but you're gonna push down through your hands and continue lifting like you're in a back bend, like up, like arcing up through the chest, coming forward, and then giving your shins a pretty solid smack. You wanna just spank your shins and feet. Depending on the situation of your knees, you can cross your ankles and roll over your legs or Send them to the side and make your ramp. Either way, you're coming onto your back. Gather your props for Shavasana. And we were in a lot of funky shapes, so you might enjoy more support today. I'm gonna put, I have not these two pillows. I'm gonna put one under my head and one right at the bottom of my buttocks. And I'm contemplating blocks under my calves. I haven't decided. I'm doing it, it feels amazing. Okay, so. I'm now taking the block of, I mean, pillow under my head, holding it on the sides, and I'm pretending I have a masseuse here, <laughs> and they're lifting my head up with the pillow, and they're tractioning my neck out in the best way. And my head is supported, resting back, and I'm pulling my head back. And I didn't do this all that often, because it's a bit tricky, but I did love to do this assist for people when I could. Slide a towel under their head and pull. I didn't get to do it too much because of just tricky at Shavasana time. And then wriggle your shoulder blades underneath your back. It's funny, right at the, when COVID really was not, we hadn't quite realized what was happening. I was teaching a teacher training and we were, I was, they didn't really know what I was talking about, but debating the merits of adjusting students. And um, even then I was, I was lamenting how much I miss how it used to be. So really, I, I do love giving adjustments, I think, or at least and I love getting them and giving them. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, side out. And take a deep breath in. And exhale. And again, deeply breathe in. And exhale.
It's a new moon coming, Leo moon. Time for us to be brave and bold. Courageous Leo lion moon. Let the body get heavy. Bring your awareness to the space, both within the body and where the body has space from the earth. Float your con consciousness into those spaces. and merge into the space. Hmm. I happen to know all of you in certain ways pretty well. And what's um, amazing, what you all share is an adventurous heart. An adventurous spirit. And each one of you is uniquely brave and creative. Trust that in these moments of stillness, you are downloading more of the collective, widening your apertures and connecting your heart. Back to source. And as you begin to reanimate this incredible gift of a body, breathe in life. And notice this exchange as we breathe out. We breathe in, animating this incredible machine that operates on so many levels. We're, only, we're barely scratching the surface. And exhale. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, if it feels right, yawn and stretch and electrify. Feel the electrical system of your body coming online. And then roll to your right and make yourself little, like a little tiny embryo, this embryonic shape, tuck in. And continue to animate by breathing into the back. And through the back body, we pull in these archetypes, these frequencies, and we pull them in in a clearer way than we do from the front body. There's less turmoil back there. There's more connection to God. And we breathe in love. And even though we're not in the same space together, hopefully our bodies are making this oxytocin anyway, this connection, the serotonin. As we went deep into relaxation, the body feels safe to make, to give us these good drugs, these connecting drugs. We breathe in love and faith and hope. And then press your hand down to the ground as you rise. And we take a seat together. 
we reach the arms up toward the sky. And just gather this energy around you, gather the space between us. And just wave your hands toward your body, just pull that love in, all that love and all that creativity of these incredible women that you're sharing that you're mourning with. Trust me. <laughs> um, you guys are all amazing. And then bring that energy into the heart space in a prayer. In the yoga teachings say that we all share one heart. The illusion is that the hearts are separate and this causes, as we know, tremendous suffering. As we feel into the space that we share, let's feel for one heart and together we'll take one own inhale. Oh. Thumbs to forehead center, the wisdom of our beautiful, unique life, heart, the souls of our body, the souls of our ancestors. And maybe we gleaned a little wisdom from one another today. Thank you guys. Feel free to unmute yourself and say hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming and showing up. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks. It got a little crazy with the kids. I got to get some lunches made, and they're doing. They're doing like. Have an awesome day. They started school today. Thank you. Oh gosh. Bye. Bye. Bye, Sally. Bye, Becca. Karen, are you better? Um. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. How was the camping? Um, camping was good. Uh, it rained on us on Saturday morning with lightning and thunder in Santa Barbara. Oh, that's but kind of romantic. It was a big rainbow that went over the ocean. Wow. But it was, oh. yeah, it was nice. I just, I went for a long walk with Max on the beach and I got sunburned. So as the hives were leaving, the sunburn came. <laughs> so having skin issues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have an awesome day. You too. See you later. I'll see you later, Gators. Thank you. Bye.